Good morning, worshipers of Jesus Christ. Well, as you can see, we're in a completely different background. This is my last night in Jersey, and I figured, hey, some people maybe have never seen snow. Maybe I should record some of the weather out here. <laughs> anyway, um, we are right in Genesis chapter 7. So, if you don't mind, open up your Bibles to Genesis chapter 7, and uh, let's pray together, all right? Jesus, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Bless them. Bless and thank you for this beautiful weather. The last time that I'm here in Jersey, it's nice and beautiful to see your gorgeous snow out there. <laughs> um, Jesus, please be with my viewers and help us as we read your word. Amen. All right, Genesis chapter 7, the NIV Version Bible. I'm going to start off with verse 22 of Genesis chapter 6. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain onto the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters came on the earth. And Noah and his sons and his wives and his sons' wives entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood. Pairs of clean and unclean animals of birds and all creatures that moved along the ground, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark as God had commanded. And after the seven days, the flood waters came on the earth. In the six in the six hundredth year of Noah's life, on the seventeenth day of the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the flood gates of the heavens were open, and rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. Wow, <laughs> that's just amazing. I mean, we just call it rain, but here it's the first ever rain, so it's very interesting. Verse 13, on that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wife and his wives of his three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind all livestock according to their kinds, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings, pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. Wow. Imagine that sight. You know, I think there's even a movie on it. But it's a movie that's not actually very accurate. But anyway, um, you saw all the animals coming to Noah. That was that was a powerful scene, though. But the rest of the movie, not a fan. Okay, verse um, 16. The animals going in were male and female of every living every living thing, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut. Him in. Wow, the Lord closed the door. Isn't that amazing? That is, wow, that is, oh, hallelujah, that is just amazing. 
Let me just cover this a little bit because I do not want my computer to get ruined from the snow. Okay. Um, 17, verse 17. For 40 days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased, and they lifted the ark high above the earth, the waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark flooded on the surface of the waters. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. Wow. Wow. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than 15 cubits. Every living thing that moved on the land perished. Birds, livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swarm over the earth, and all mankind, everything on dry land that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. Wow. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. People and animals and the creatures that moved along the ground and the birds were wiped from the earth. Only, only, Noah and, only Noah was left and those with him in the ark. Wow. The waters flooded the earth for 115 days. Wow. Wow. That is just amazing. And this snow is needs to fall off of my Bible. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much for reading with me. Um, the next video that I upload, I will be in Texas. And I wish I can say that it's going to be a lot warmer, but unfortunately, the part of Texas that I am in is going to still be meant to say before I got cut off is that I wish it was going to be a little bit warmer, but part of Texas I'm in, still going to be cold. Probably no snow, but still going to be cold. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you in Texas. Well, let's pray. Jesus, thank you for this beautiful Bible study. Bless those that are listening, and Jesus, continue helping them in their walk. Give me strength to continue doing this, even while I'm in college. Lord, and continue helping all of these viewers who are still listening while they're doing their daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Oh, wait, wait, I can't, can't say goodbye.